Welcome to Tech Illiterate. I'm Nick, and today I learned how to apply thermal paste. Now let me show you how it's done. You're going to need paper towel, cotton swabs, isopropyl alcohol, and your favorite thermal compound. The first thing you're going to need to do is clean off your CPU. If you're installing a brand new CPU, this won't matter, but if you have old compound on your CPU, or even if you've touched the top of it with fingers or anything like that, it's a good idea to clean it. So make sure you have that paper towel and cotton swabs handy. Grab a few of them. There are different liquids you can use to clean the top of the CPU, but I would recommend isopropyl alcohol. It's normally easy to get, it's cheap, and it does a great job of getting rid of the residue. If you're installing a new processor, never mind this part. However, if you have a CPU cooler installed, go ahead and remove it. Most are mounted to the motherboard like this Kraken X53, just with four screws that can be loosened by hand. Yours may be different, so be sure to consult the manual if you're unsure of what to do. Once you have removed the mounting screws, you're going to twist the cooler back and forth. Mine came loose pretty easily, but you might have to twist it a bit more to help loosen the contact between the CPU and the cooler. I've had that happen in the past before and I put too much thermal paste on. But don't worry, be patient and don't use too much force. Once the cooler is off, you can go ahead and take your dry paper towel and wipe as much of the old thermal compound from the cooler as you can. Some like to go straight to the alcohol, but I've found that doing this with dry wipe first can be cleaner. Then uh, you're gonna apply the alcohol to a new piece of paper towel and wipe down the cooler. Make sure it's nice and shiny and clean. Then put that aside and do the same with the CPU, but with one minor added step. If you don't have cotton swabs, you can do this with paper towel, that's fine. So take the, the cotton swab and moisten it, but don't do it too much. You don't want it soaking wet, dripping wet. It won't kill your computer if it drips on the components, but if this is conductive thermal paste and it seeps in places where it's not supposed to be and, and then the alcohol evaporates, it can cause problems. So you don't have to deal with that. So take that cotton swab and just clean the sides of the CPU. Once that's clean, go ahead and give the top of the CPU one last moist wipe. It should look super clean, no streaks or residue. Ready for the new thermal paste. Take your thermal compound of choice. In this case, I have Arctic Silver 5. This is a conductive paste. You don't want to get this on your components. You have to be really careful. It can actually short them out. So please do take care. There are different methods or styles of application, but today we're going to be using the classic dot or P method. If you've never applied compound before, don't be afraid to have a test run on some paper towel. Now apply a small amount to the middle of the CPU. If it's the size of one of the capacitors surrounding the CPU, around that size, it doesn't have to be perfect, then you're probably good like I have here. That should be just enough. So you don't want to apply too much though. It can actually spill over from the sides of the CPU and the cooler, which can cause some issues. Like at the very least, it'll be a mess to clean up when you finally replace it. And at the worst, it could be creating shorts within your system and actually fry your board. So you don't want that happening. But anyways, if it looks anything like this, you're ready to put the cooler back on. Some designs might not give you the option to place the cooler straight back on to give that even mounting pressure like the stock AMD cooler, for example. Those ones kind of, you put them on a bit sideways. They work great, but uh, sometimes it can end up with some uneven coverage. Otherwise, have your mounting screws handy and place it as flat as you can while applying a reasonable amount of pressure. You don't have to put all your weight into this. It's just enough to hold it still. So then replace the screws in one corner to another corner, like a pattern. Turn one until you feel some resistance then install the opposite corner and continue until all four screws are on there. Now at this point, you can let go and you can just tighten up the screws individually in that same pattern until they are nice and snug. This will ensure you have even pressure between the CPU and the cooler. Be sure to plug in your fans and pump or anything else because if you hadn't, this will all be for naught. And that's it, you're good to go. So as long as your thermals are in check, there's nothing to worry about at this point, which leads me to my next video showing you how to check your thermals and PC temps. I hope your tech literacy has improved from watching this tutorial. I know that I've learned a lot of great tips from researching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. My name is Nick. Thanks for watching.